Hello and welcome to the Editing Podcast. We've put together a series of bonus episodes called Point of View, in which we chat to experts from the editing and publishing world. This interview is with Maya Berger, a professional editor who works with young adult and children's fiction, speculative and science fiction, and romance and adult fiction. In this episode, we focus on writing and editing erotica. Here we are again at um, Aston University Conference Centre for the Society for Editors and Proofreaders Conference. And with us today is one of the SFVP members, Maya Berger, who's come all the way from Toronto. Hello, Maya. Hello. 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 Hi, Maya. Hi. So, Maya, tell us a little bit about the kind of editing you do and the client, kind of clients you work for. Um, I've been editing and proofreading for 13 years. I uh, spent 10 of those years with a higher education specialist publisher. And for the past three and a half years, I've been freelance doing a mix of academic nonfiction uh, in the humanities and social sciences mostly, mm -hmm. and a few different fiction genres. Um, I work with young adult and children's fiction. I work with uh, sci-fi and speculative fiction, which I quite like a lot. Um, and do you read that for pleasure? I do, well. yeah. I do, yeah. and the young adult stuff. I, yeah. I read most of it for pleasure. I'm, I, yeah, big reader generally. Not mm -hmm. surprising in this profession. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, I, I also edit and proofread romance and erotica. So that's really useful, um, Maya, because we we want to focus in on that um, uh, a bit more today because I think there are some some misunderstandings about um, editing um, when it comes to romance and erotica. So. Yeah, so what I think we should start with is thinking about, is there one specific thing that authors who write erotica should know about the process of being edited? Certainly. Um, I think the big thing that I want, would want to stress is don't be afraid to approach an editor. Don't fear being judged. Um, we take your work seriously. Mm -hmm. And yep. we we treat it the same way that we would any other text. You know, we look at it on you know the merits of the writing quality. We try to improve it. We believe that it deserves to have the same sort of level of professionalism and quality as any other type of writing. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's really the the sort of one thing I would want them to that's, keep in mind. That's a really good point because um, I think there is a bit a bit of a there are, I have seen comments um, in the writing community and and also sometimes by small sections of the editing community where, where there's almost this feel that that because it's erotica or pornography that it doesn't need editing or it doesn't deserve to be edited or it shouldn't be edited. And I'm not sure any, well, I don't agree I with don't that. I don't agree with that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, assuming you don't, don't agree with that. <laughs> yeah. I certainly don't agree with that. I think it's a real shame that some of those attitudes persist. I think it's in some ways understandable. People are a little bit afraid of it um, or people like to maybe be a little bit snobby about certain things. But the same has been true of comic books and graphic novels in the mm. past, of noir, of pulp fiction, mm. of of even tr children's literature. But those those genres have all sort of had their validity They've kind of confirmed, their feet, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. Yes. and I yeah. think uh, particularly now in the last few years, um, sort of erotica and sort of even some sort of soft pornography mm -hmm. has found that as well. Um, mm -hmm. Has been gaining in sort of mainstream popularity, and people aren't afraid to be seen reading, you know, reading a romance or an erotica novel. Um, yeah. Really, yeah. ever since yeah. Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, which has much to answer for, but has also <laughs> yeah. done some favours yes. in that respect. I think that's another story, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Maybe we'll have you back to talk about that kind of issue. Yeah, uh, time. I have many yeah. thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> so how would an, an author go about finding an editor who specialises in erotic fiction? Um, the same way you'd find sort of any other editor, uh, the same sort of directories or local um, groups or um, sort of online searches. Look for keywords on their websites. Um, mm -hmm. Look for them to be open to editing those genres. A lot of editors will advertise specifically that they work with romance, with erotica, and with sort of subspecialities of erotica, which we can talk about in a bit. Mm -hmm. Can can we talk a little bit about those subspecialisms? Because would you, as a professional editor, say that there may be occasions where particular subgenres of of erotica might benefit from a specialist editor? Absolutely. Um, I think beyond the sort of basic question of how graphic the content is you know certain every editor has their own sort of lines and boundaries mm -hmm. of what they mm -hmm. feel comfortable editing and what they don't and that's absolutely fine um, certain subgenres within erotica do um, maybe require or benefit from a little more specialist knowledge mm -hmm. um, 
LGBTQ content. Um, mm -hmm. Some authors find that they prefer an editor with either that direct perspective and experience um, or who just are a bit more knowledgeable about those communities. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And that's where things like sensitivity readers can also come in and, and people who just want to make sure that that content is sensitive to the nature and those experiences yeah, and of those, those and people. The, the characters are represented well. And, Absolutely. And, and, and honestly. And, yeah. um, and sensitively, yeah. 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 Um, do, you, do you think somebody can write in those genres if they haven't experienced them? That's always the question for authors mm -hmm. with, with any experience that, that is not their own particularly. I think mm -hmm. they can if they do their research and if they speak to people uh, yeah. within those communities mm -hmm. and take care and uh, make sure that the voice in the novel represents those voices and not necessarily the voice of an outsider as much. Yeah. Um, the other the other specialism which I think benefits from an editor with a bit more specialist knowledge is kink and taboo subjects, mm -hmm. which many editors who specialize in erotica will not even necessarily touch. There's a, a smaller subset who will mm -hmm. work with uh, kink and BDSM and power play dynamics in a very um, and is there a degree to which you know one one editor and one author's kink is another? You know, what somebody, one person considers mainstream is another person's kink. There's always going to be that dichotomy there, isn't Absolutely. there as well? Absolutely. Yep. Um, and it's it's a good idea to find an editor with a similar mindset as far yeah. as that goes. Yeah. You know, as with any type of editing, the editor has to be a good fit for the author yeah. in yeah. in perspective and in approach. Yep. Yeah. Maya, if people want to get in touch with you, if they've got erotic fiction that they think would um, really benefit from um, your touch, where, how can people get in touch with you? My website is called What I Mean to Say. That's the name of my business. And uh, there's a subsection on there for fiction, and there's contact details on that website. Um, my email address is maya.berger at gmail.com. I'm also listed in the Society for Editors and Proofreaders uh, Professional Directory. Um, you can find me there by searching under my name or under keywords such as erotica. Okay. Okay. We'll put all that information in the show notes. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Well, that's been great. That's a lovely little insight into the world of erotica editing. And um, I think we'd love to have you back on the podcast in the future yeah. to talk in maybe in a bit more detail about that. Excellent. I'd love yeah. to come back. Thank lovely. you so much. Thanks for, thanks, thanks for talking to us, Maya. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this bonus episode. Thank you so much for listening to the Editing Podcast. You can rate, review and subscribe to us via Apple Podcasts, Spotify or whichever platform you use to listen. And if you have any questions, please do get in touch with us via the Editing Podcast Facebook page. We've put all the links we've mentioned in the show notes so you can grab everything there. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.